Wow, what a profoundly impactful and eye-opening read. And unfortunately, with everything going on currently in the world, it turns out it's also a very timely read as well. First off, author Steve Shankin never ceases to amaze me with his epic historical fiction reads. And his latest novel, Impossible Escape, is a true example of how he is the master of his craft. This is the recounting of two Jewish Slavs and their heroic and remarkable escape from Auschwitz-Birkenau and their journey to freedom. Impossible Escape is a story of true heroism and bravery. In 1930s and 1940s Nazi-occupied Europe, Jews were stripped of their rights and their businesses. Hitler's Nazi party and his troops annexed land from France to Poland to Norway. Many Jews kept hope that their mother countries, despite being taken over by Germany, would remain a bit lenient for Jews. That laws wouldn't be too strict. And for a while, that was the case. Until the unleashing of Hitler's final solution. Let's turn now to the life of Slavic Jew and hero of the story, Rudy. Ever since Hitler had come to power, Rudy had been devising a plan to escape by foot to Great Britain. Rudy faced many roadblocks on his journey, and he could never have imagined what would come of it. He never did make it to Great Britain. He was caught and faced the catastrophic fate millions of Jews were met with. Concentration camps, or what the Nazis called relocation. But Rudy's story isn't over yet. He escaped Auschwitz-Birkenau. He escaped against all odds. But how did he do it? We'll need to read Steve Shankin's Impossible Escape to find out. But let me tell you, this is a journey, a mission, a tale etched into the history books. I found myself awestruck by Rudy's determination. And not just that, but by the millions of Jews who, while being forced into death camps, still kept hope and faith in God. I know that Impossible Escape will be a forever beloved historical fiction masterpiece. I love it so much. This book is needed in every classroom and library, not just across the United States, but the entire world. 10 out of 10, you need to read Impossible Escape.